you for tuning in to This Is Now. We begin today with a farewell. The nation is honoring the life of former First Lady Rosalind Carter. She was the wife of our nation's 39th President, Jimmy Carter, who remains in hospice care. Her casket departed a medical center in Americus Monday morning, carried by honorary pallbearers that were members of her Secret Service protection detail. I'm Dylan Anchetta in the H&N Digital Center. Carter died in her home in Plains, Georgia on November 19th. She was 96 years old. For more on this, here's Skylar Henry. <laughs> Past and present members of the Carter's Secret Service detail carried Rosalind Carter's casket and flanked the hearse as it left a medical center near Plains, Georgia. Family members followed to the Georgia Southwestern State University Health and Human Sciences Complex named for Mrs. Carter. They laid twin wreaths in her honor and crowds gathered to watch the motorcade go by. This is the first of three days of remembrance events for the former First Lady, who died last week at the age of 96. I just thank you especially for the life of Rosalind Carter and what she means to each and every single one of us. The Carter's niece prayed for the former First Lady at the Carter's beloved Maranatha Baptist Church on Sunday. Mourners and visitors have been flocking here to the Jimmy Carter Presidential Library and Museum here in Atlanta. The former First Lady's body will lie in repose through this evening. Well, she was wonderful. She always remembered to talk about my son. Meredith Evans is the director here and got to know Mrs. Carter personally. For me, this is a day of really considering and thinking about all that she's done. Um, and what she personally may mean to you or to me. The public is invited to pay respects through the evening. A memorial service is set for Tuesday. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Atlanta.